Hello, and in this video, you'll learn to create this awesome space themed portfolio website, which uses frame and motion for animations, 3GS for the star background, TypeScript, has a lot of features, and is fully mobile responsive. Without further ado, let's begin. All right, we can begin by going to our desktop and creating a new folder. I'll call it space portfolio. You can call it whatever you like, but don't use any capital letters as Next.js won't work. And let's drag it into our Visual Studio Code. Next, let's expand our Visual Studio Code and begin creating our website. For this, we can go to View and Terminal, and then we'll need to paste in a command. For this, we can go to the official Next.js website, copy this command, paste it into our terminal, and add dot slash. Here, you'll either be asked to install Next.js, and if you already have, you'll get these options. First of all, yes, we would like to use TypeScript. Yes, yes, no, yes, and no. So simply pressing enter a bunch of times, and this will create our app. Next, we need to install all the packages. For this, we can run npm install dash dash save dash dev, just in case and say framer-motion3, react-intersection-observer, at react-3 slash dre, and at react-3 slash fiber. Once that is done, we can run npm run dev to see if the app is working. And in a few seconds, this should appear, and we can control click on this link. Here we should see a basic Next.js app, and yes, here it is, a basic template. That's what we're going to remove shortly. Next, we can close the terminal and remove everything unnecessary. First of all, we can go to app and page.tsx. In here, we have the starter page and we can essentially remove everything in the return statement. So we can select all of this and remove it. Return a main, which will say space portfolio. Next, we can go to globals.css and remove everything but these three lines on the top. These three lines allow us to use Tailwind CSS. Let's see how this looks in the app. And yes, here we have a completely empty screen, which says space portfolio, exactly what we want. All right, so next thing we can do is go into our layout, remove this title, say space portfolio, change the description to this is my portfolio. Next thing we can do is go into this body. This body essentially encompasses our entire app. First of all, we can make this a template string and make this dynamic. So we keep the inter.class name and say bg dash hash 30014 overflow dash y dash scroll overflow dash x dash hidden. We can actually add another zero over here before this three and let's see how this looks. As you can see, we have this dark purple background, which is exactly what we want. And let's do the final part is work on the page.tsx, which will be quite fast, and then start working on our components. In this main, we can have a class name of h-full and w-full. In here, we can have a div. This div will contain all of the components. So class name, flex, flex dash call and gap dash 20. And all we need to do now is add all the components inside of this div. Now we can begin by creating our first component and that is our hero section. For this, we can go into the root of our directory and create a new components folder. Here we'll create a main folder. These will be our main components that will go over here. We will also subcomponents which go into these main components. So in this main folder, we can create a hero.tsx and run our EFC inside of it. As always, if you can't do that, you can go into extensions, 
and download this extension. So in here, what we can do is remove this hero text, go in here and give this a class name of a relative flex flex dash call h dash full and w dash full. Inside of here, we can have a video. This video will have multiple attributes. First of all, autoplay. Next, muted. And also loop. So it never stops. We'll also have a class name. So rotate dash 180. Absolute top dash minus 340 pixels. Left dash 0. Z dash 1. W dash full, H dash full, and object dash cover. Let's remove this dash and continue. All right, so next thing we can do is add a source, which will be a self closing component. This source will have a source of slash black hole dot webm, and it will have a type of video slash. Webm. But to actually use this black hole video, we'll need some assets in our public folder. For this, you can go to the description down below and download all the assets. Once that is done, you can close the public folder and go to page.tsx and over here, add the hero component. Don't forget to import it from components. And let's look at the result. Now, if we go ahead and look at this video, the video is not there. So, Let's see why it is. First of all, I spelled webm wrong. And next part, look at this container. It says that this video and this whole container has an H of full and a W of full of its parent container. However, its parent container does not have a height or width. So if we simply say H-850 pixels, this will fully resolve the issue. As you can see, now we can see the black hole. This is only necessary for now, as we don't have any proper components. Once we change that, we'll be able to remove this height. Next thing we can do is create all the content for the hero section. For this, we can go into components and not main and create a subfolder. This folder will contain a hero content dot tsx. And we can run our AFC in this file. In here, we can start off by importing motion from framer motion. And inside of here, we can turn this div into a motion.div. And begin working on it. First of all, we can say initial equals hidden, animate equals visible. Next, let's give this a class name of flex, flex dash row, items dash center, justify dash center, adding x of 20, margin top of 40, a w of full, and a z of 20. In here, we can create an ordinary div, and this will be container for all the text. It's going to have a class name of h dash full, w dash full, flex, flex dash call gap dash five justify dash center m of auto and the text of start next thing we can do is create a motion dot div this motion div will have two attributes first of all a variance and a class name we'll start with a class name we'll have a custom class of welcome dash box a padding y of 15 pixels a padding x of four pixels a border, a border with a color, this color will be quite complex, 7024, or rather 42, F88B, and an opacity of 0 0.9. Next thing we need to do is add some variance. For this we can say slide in from top. Obviously we haven't created this yet. For this, we can go into the root of our directory, create a new folder called utils. This folder will have a motion.ts. 
In here we can paste this. I'll leave this in the description down below. Essentially, here are some functions, slide in from left, slide in from right, and slide in from top. As you can see, slide in from left and slide in from right have a delay property, which means that we can have a different delay for different elements, which you'll see later on. And so we can go back here, select this, press Control space, and import it from utils. For the next part, we'll need to make another installation, which I forgot before. So for this, we'll have to npm install at hero icons slash react. Once that is done, we can close the terminal, say sparkles icon, which will come from the 24 part. And give this a class name. First of all, it will have a text of hash b49bff. Text in this case simply means the color of the icon. Next, we can give it a margin right of 10 pixels, an H of 5, and a W of 5. Under here, we can H1, which will say full stack developer portfolio. This H1 can, as always, have a class name of welcome dash text and text dash 13 pixels. Now, as you can see, this is custom class. So to see it, we can go to globals.css and here it is. Essentially what this does is adds this gradient to the text, essentially by making the text transparent and then adding the gradient over it. As you can see, it is easier to simply make this a CSS class in the background than having a bunch of classes over here. Now let's see how this looks in our actual app. For this, we can go to our hero section and import hero content. And let's see how this looks. As you can see, we instantly get an error, which I already knew. The reason being is because in our hero content component, we are using frame of motion, which, well, we can't actually see it, but it uses React hooks, which can only be used in client components. So on the top, we can say use client, and this should resolve the issue. In a few seconds, we should stop getting this error. And actually, while we're doing that, we can go over here and fix this from 15 pixels to 8 pixels. And yeah, let's see how this looks. We get the animation, and we get a proper size for this card. So let's continue. Now, if we go back under this motion.div, we can create another motion.div. This will contain the large text. First of all, we can give it some variants which will be slide in from left and 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is the delay. So if we go to motion.ts, as you can see, slide in from left has this delay parameter, which is used over here. We can continue by also giving this a class name of flex, flex-call, gap-6, margin top-6, text-6xl, text dash bold, text dash white, max dash w dash 600 pixels, w dash auto, and h dash auto. In here we can say providing, and add a span. This span will say the best. This span will also have a class name of text dash transparent. Text itself will be invisible. Next, we can say bg-clip-text. So basically, the background will follow the outline of the text. Then say bg-gradient-2-r from dash purple dash 500 to dash cyan dash 500. A cool trick, but a very useful one. Under the span, we can say project experience and go under this motion.div. Here we can create a motion.p. This motion.p will first of all have a variance, which will also be slide in from left, but this time we will have a delay of 0 0.8. It will also have a class name of text-lg, text-gray-400, margin y-5, and max-w-600 pixels. 
Inside of here, we can have a small text describing who the person is. Let's continue. Next, we can create a motion.a. This motion.a can have some variants. This will be, once again, slide in from left, but this time it's going to be 1. So this will be the longest of all of them. We'll also have a class name, as always, with a padding y of 2. Button dash primary, another custom class name. Text dash center. Text dash white. Cursor dash pointer. And rounded dash lg. And we can also say max dash w dash 200 pixels. And it can say learn more. Finally, we can go under this div and create another and final motion.div. This div will have some variants of slide in from right with 0 0.8. Next, we can have a class name of w dash full, h dash full, flex, flex dash center, items dash center. Rather, this should be justify, not flex. And inside of here, we can say image, which will come from next slash image. First of all, this image will have a source. The source will be slash main icons dark dot SVG. An alt of work icons. A height of 650 and a width of 650. Now let's see how this website looks. If we reload this, we'll get all these smooth animations. By the way, if you go into the website and you don't get the elements or animations, simply reload it again. This initiative only happens on localhost and will not happen once you deploy the website. Now let's fix any issues we have with this code. Let's start from this. This seems a little smushed together. So we can go up here, this padding X and say seven instead of four pixels. Next, with this part, we need to be in two lines, not three. For this, we can cover this entire thing in another span. And also over here, I said text-bold instead of font-bold. Now, we almost get what we want, but there are no spaces. And for this, what we can do is move all of this onto one line and simply manually add spaces over here and over here. And as you can see, now we have exactly what we want and we're done with this section. Now we can continue onto the star canvas. For this, we can go back, go into our components, into main, and create a new star background .tsx and run refce. Now let's make all of the imports. First of all, we can go above here and make this a client component. Next, we can import, use state, use ref, and suspense from React. Also, we can import canvas and use frame from at react-3 slash fiber. Next, we can import points point material and preload from once again at react dash three but slash dre this time and finally we can import this as random from math slash random slash dist slash math dash random dot esm and i believe we're done with the imports by the way if you get this error you can try this command in the terminal if that doesn't work what you can do is go under here and paste in this line this will make typescript ignore the error as it's simply a small type error and uh, it doesn't actually affect our app we can do this and this won't affect our functionality next in here we can say props with the type of any inside Say const ref with the type of any equals use ref. Next, we can say const sphere 
equals use state. So quite a strange use state we have over here. And this will return random dot in sphere new load 32 array of 5000 and it will have a radius of 1.2. Next, we can say use frame, which will be state and delta. And this will return ref dot current dot rotation dot x minus equals delta divided by 10. And we can actually copy all of this and paste it over here, change this to y and change this to 15. Now we can move into the return statement. This will return a group, which will have a rotation. So rotation, and this will return an array of zero, zero math.py divided by four. Inside of here, we can have some points. These points will have, first of all, a ref. So ref is ref. Positions of sphere. Next is stride. So stride of three. Next, we have this property. And we can also destructure the props. And finally, inside of here, we can have a point material, which will be self-closing. First of all, it will be transparent. Next, it will have a color equals to hash FFF. Next, it will have a size of 0 0.002. Next, a size attenuation of true. And a depth right of false. Unlike our usual fileable new one component, this will have two components. So we can say const stars canvas equals and make an instant return. And we can actually replace the star background with stars canvas. As we won't actually be exporting all of this, we'll simply be using it inside of stars canvas. Inside of here, we can have a div. This div will have a class name of w full h auto fixed inset dash zero and z dash 20. Instead of here, we can have a canvas. This canvas will have a camera, which will have a position, which will be 0, 0, 1. Inside of here, we can have a suspense. This suspense will have a fallback of null. And finally, here we can render the star background. And I believe if there are no errors, we are done with this component. So now we can go into the layout and over here say stars canvas. Now let's go to the website and see how this looks. And this looks amazing, just as we intended. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. And now we can move on to the nav bar. In here, what we can do is go to components main and create a new file called navbar.csx and in here run rafce. Now let's remove this text and style the wrapper div. For this we can say class name w full h 65 pixels fixed top dash zero shadow dash lg shadow dash hash and this will be 2a 0e 61 divided by 50 bg dash slate dash 300 over 30 bg dash hash 03001417 back drop so back drop dash blur dash md next z dash 50 and padding x of 10. To be honest, this bg dash slate isn't really necessary, so we can actually remove it. And let's see how this looks in the actual app. For this, we can go to layout and add the navbar under the stars canvas. So navbar, and let's import it. 
If we go to the app, as you can see the navbar is there and working properly. However, the black hole isn't in the correct position. For this, we can go back to our app, to page.tsx and remove this height of 850 pixels. This was only necessary when we didn't have a section. Now that we have one, we can have the black hole and it's working perfectly. Now we can go back to the navbar and add another div. This div will have a class name of w full h full flex flex row items center justify dash between m of auto and a padding x of 10 pixels. In here we can add an a tag. This a tag will have an href of hash about dash me and will have a class name of h dash auto w dash auto flex flex dash row items dash center. In here we can add an image. This image will come from next slash image. It will have a source, first of all, which will be slash nav logo dot png. It will also have an alt of logo, a width of 70, a height of 70, and a class name of cursor dash pointer and on hover, animate, animate dash slow spin. Under here, we can add a span. This span will say, in my case, web chain dev. We can also have a class name of font dash bold, margin left dash 10 pixels, hidden, on medium device and higher block, which means show, and text dash gray dash 300. Under this a tag, we can add another div. This div can have a class name of w dash 500 pixels, h dash full, flex, flex dash row, items dash center, justify dash between, and on medium devices, a margin right of 20. All right, next thing we can do is add a div over here. This div can have a class name of flex items dash center justify dash center border border dash hash 704 2 f 861 next a background of hash 0300145 e Next, a margin right of 15 pixels, a padding X of 20 pixels, a padding Y of 10 pixels. Also rounded dash full and text dash gray dash 200. Now in here we can have an A tag with an href of hash about dash me and a class name of cursor dash pointer. Actually, we can also make this justify dash center, justify dash between. So this will say about me. We can copy this two more times. One, two. This will say skills. And this will say projects. And we can also change these links. This can say skills. And this part can say projects. Projects. Yes. For the next part, we also need to go to the root of our directory and create a new constants folder. This folder will have an index.ts and we can paste all of this inside. This is simply some static information that we'll be using throughout our app. So that you don't have to manually write all of this yourself. So simply some arrays with objects. So we can go back to the navbar and go to divs under the A's and add another div. This div can say class name flex flex dash row and gap dash five. In here we can map through the socials. So socials dot map social and make an instant return. This will return an XJS image tag. First of all, it will have a source. The source will be social dot source. 
the alt will be social dot name. Next, the key will be social dot name. Next, we can have a width of 40 and a height of 40. Now let's fix up a few small errors. First of all, I made a mistake over here. It should be between, not between. Next, this should be 24. And 24 instead of 40, 24. And in this div over here, the wrapper div for the links, I forgot to add w-full and h-auto. So now let's check the app. And here it is. The navbar is there. We have this logo. We have this text. We have multiple links. They currently don't lead anywhere because we haven't created the skills and projects parts yet. Otherwise, everything is working perfectly. Oh, and I just noticed there's an extra E in experience over here. So we can go back to the app, go to hero, go to hero content, and we'll find where this is. And yes, remove this E. So now this actually is correct. Next thing we can do is create the skill section. For this, we can go to components, main, new file, and skills.tsx, and run RAFCE. In here, we can actually turn this into a section. So select this, make it a section, and give the section a class name. It will be flex, flex dash call, items dash center, and justify dash center. We also have a gap of three, an H of full, a position of relative, overflow dash hidden, and a padding Y of 20. We can also expand this like this. First of all, give it an ID of skills. And also under here, say style. So use normal CSS and say transform with a scale of 0 0.9. So making it slightly smaller. And in here, we can add another div. This div can have a class name of flex, flex dash row, justify, dash around flex dash wrap modern top dash four gap of five and also items dash center in these kind of divs we'll be rendering all of our icons but for this we need a separate component so we can go to sub create a new file called skill data provider dot tsx and run refce now let's make the imports. First of all, we can say import motion from framer dash motion. Next, we can say import use in view, but not from framer motion, but from react dash intersection dash observer. Also, as we're using motion, we can make this a client component. So use client. Next, thing we can do is add all the props. So we can go in here, add this object and say source width, height, and index. This will all be of a type of props. Props will be an interface. So we can say interface, props, and say source is equal to string, or rather is of a type string. Width will be of a type number. Height will be of a type of number. And index will also be of a type number. Next thing we can do is go under here and say const ref and in view equals use in view and trigger once of true. This will mean that when the person sees this component, he will see the animation, but he will only see it once. Under here, we can say const image variance equals hidden opacity of zero and on visible the opacity will be one next under here we can say const animation delay equals 0 0.3 next we can go into the return statement in here we can say motion dot div and go inside of here to get some attributes first of all ref equals ref 
initial equals hidden variance equals image variance animate equals in view visible and in here say hidden we can also say custom is index and finally say transition which will have a delay of index times animation delay so basically what this does is it makes all the images appear one after the other because they all have different indexes and inside this div we can add an image which will come from next slash image in here we can say source is equal to source width is equal to width height is equal to height and alt is equal to skill image and we're done with this component now we can go back to the skills part and here we can say front end skill which will come from constants dot map and say image and index and make an instant return this will return our skill data provider which will first of all have a source which will equal to image dot image as it's a map it also needs a key which will equal to index we also need a width which will be image dot width a height which will be image dot height and finally an index which will equal to index We'll also need to change this image to a capital image. And let's see how this looks. For this, we can go into page.tsx and add skills over here. Don't forget to import it. And here we are in our app and let's scroll down. And as you can see, we do have these logos that appear. Now what we need to do is add some text over here and add some more rows of logos. Now we can go back to skills and copy this entire div three more times. We can change this to, let's select all of this and say backend skill. Once again, let's select all of this and say full stack. Yeah, this is simply full stack. And over here we can say other skill. Next, we can go under this div and create another div for the video. This can have a class name, of w dash full h dash full and absolute in this div we can have another div this div can have a class name of also w dash full and h dash full z dash minus 10 next opacity dash 30 absolute flex items dash center and justify justify dash center and bg dash cover and this div can have a self-closing video tag this tag will first of all have a class name of w dash full and h dash auto next it will have a preload of false a place in line next a loop muted autoplay and finally it will have a source this source will be slash cards dash video dot webm and we only have the text left for this we can go into sub and create a new component called skill text dot tsx and run our efce first we can style the wrapper div and this will have a class name, which will be w dash full h dash auto flex flex dash call items dash center and justify dash center. Part of this will be similar to the hero section. So we can go to hero content, find this div at the top, copy it, and paste it in here. Next, we can make all the imports for it. So first of all, we can say use client as we'll be using motion. Next, import motion from frame and motion. 
Also, we can import slide in from top and sparkles icon. Next, we can also change this text to think better with next.js13 and go under this div to make another one. We can say motion.div, say variance. This will be slide in from left with a delay of 0 0.5 and a class name. This will be text 30 pixels, text white, font medium, modern top 10 pixels, and text center. We can also say modern bottom 15 pixels and give it some text, which will be making apps with modern technologies. And let's move on. Next, we can another motion.div. This will first of all have some variance. So variance equals slide in from right with lay of 0 0.5. Next, a class name of cursive. This is a custom class. Text dash 20 pixels, text dash gray dash 200, margin bottom dash 10, margin top dash 10 pixels, and the text dash center. In here, we can say never miss a task, deadline, or idea. And finally, we can go into skills and add in here skill text. So now let's see how this looks in the app. Let's scroll down. As you can see, we have the animation for all the icons. We have this video background. We have this text and icon and everything is working perfectly. Now let's move on to the encryption. And actually before we move on to the encryption, we will in fact add another row. So we can copy this, paste this under skill text and over here say skill data like this. And now we should be finally done with the skills part. And now let's check this out. Let's scroll down. And yes, this does in fact look much better with this extra line on top. Now we can go back to our code, go to main, create a new file called encryption.tsx and in this file run our EFCE. First thing we'll do is go above here and make this a client component. So use client. And we'll also import motion from frame motion. Next, we can remove this text and add a class name to this div. This will say flex, flex dash row relative items dash center justify dash center w dash full and h dash full. Next, we can create a div inside of here, which will have a class name of absolute w dash auto and h dash auto a top of zero and the z index of five and here we can create a motion dot div this motion dot div first of all will have some variance so let's say variance and slide in from top next it will have a class name of text dash 40 pixels font dash medium text dash center and text dash gray dash 200. Next, what we can do is go to hero content, copy this part without the extra span, paste it in here and change it. First of all, performance. Next, instead of best, we'll simply have and. And finally here, security. Under this div, we can create another div. This div can have a class name of flex, flex dash call items dash center, justify dash center, translate dash y dash minus 50 pixels, next absolute z dash 20, w dash auto, and h dash auto. And let's check the spelling over here. This will be absolute. Next, in here, we can add another div 
which will have a class name of flex flex dash call items dash center group cursor dash pointer w dash auto and h dash auto in here we can next.js image tag this tag will first of all have a source the source equals lock top dot png next an alt of lock top a width of 50 and a height of 50. next we can the class name of translate dash y dash 5 transition dash all duration dash 200 group dash hover translate to translate dash y dash 11 and we can copy and paste this change this to 70 70 make this lock main lock main remove all of the class names and say z dash 10. And we can now go under these two divs and add a video background. We can say class name w 80%, flex items dash start, and justify dash center. And we can also say absolute. Inside of here, we can have a self closing video component. First of all, it will be a loop, muted, autoplay. Play is in line, and it will also have a preload of false and a class name of w full and h auto. Now, let's see how this looks in the actual app by going to page.tsx and under skills adding encryption. Also, before that, we'll need to fix some issues. First of all, I made a mistake over here. This should be hover. Next, these two images should have a slash before them. Also, this should be full instead of 80%. And this video also needs to have a source of slash encryption dot webm. And now I believe we are actually done with this part. And though this does look good on the actual page, this isn't correct as we do have overlapping with this section. For this, we can go into skills and over here add a padding bottom of 80. This should currently fix the issue. I'm not fully sure why this text is appearing here and not up there, but I believe once we add the other text, the problem should be fixed. All right, so under the div containing the images, we can add another div, which will have a class name of welcome dash box, adding x dash 15 pixels, adding y of four pixels, Next, we can say z-20, border, margin y-20 pixels, border, dash, hash, 7042F88B. And we can also say opacity, dash 0 0.9. In here, we can h1, which will say encryption, and it will have a class name of welcome dash text text dash 12 pixels next under this div and this div we can add another div which will have a class name of cursive text dash 20 pixels font dash medium text dash center text dash gray dash 200 or rather 300 would be better here and that is all in here we can say secure your data with end dash to dash end encryption and let's see how this turned out actually we can add another div above this one so we can say div close it over here and let it position itself so we can say class name equals absolute z-20 bottom dash 10 pixels and padding x dash 5 pixels now if we look at this component everything seems done i mean all the parts are actually done but all the positionings are wrong 
there's a simple way to fix this issue. We can go back to Visual Studio Code, go back to encryption, and in here say min-h-screen. And now everything is in the right position and everything is working perfectly. Now let's move on to the projects section. So the next thing we can do is go to main, create a new file called projects.tsx and run our EFCE. We can also go to sub and create a project card.tsx and also run our EFCE. This time we'll actually start working on the project card first. For this, we can first of all make some props. This will be source, title, and description, which will be of a type props with a capital P. This props will be an interface. And let's define all of the types. First of all, source will equal to string, title will be string, and the description will also be a string. All right, so next thing we can do is remove this text and give this div a class name of relative overflow dash hidden rounded dash LG shadow dash LG border border dash hash 2A0E61. In here we can have a next.js image tag. This tag will have a source of source, an alt of title, a width of a thousand, and a height of a thousand. It will also have a class name of w full object contain. Under here we can have a div. This div will have a class name of a relative and p-4. In here we can say h2, this will say title, and let's give some classes to this h1. Text-2xl, font-semi-bold, and text-white. Next we can have a p tag. This p tag can have a class name of modern top-2, text-gray dash 300 and it will give the description now we can go into projects remove this text and give a class name to this div this will be flex flex dash call items dash center justify dash center and padding y of 20. next we can have another div which will say class name H dash full W dash full flex flex dash call MD flex dash row gap dash 10 padding X of 10. Above this, we can have an H1. This H1 will have a class name of text dash 40 pixels font dash semi bold text dash transparent bg dash clip dash text bg dash gradient to r from dash purple dash 500 to dash cyan dash 500 and padding y of 20. Now this h1 can say my projects and now we can move on to this part. I'll actually just paste all of this in and import the project card. So as you can see, this is simply a project card with some images and some titles. Nothing complicated, I didn't want to waste time writing all of these by hand. Now let's add this to the app by going to page.tsx, go under encryption and say projects. And let's see how this looks. And here we are, and this looks amazing. Now let's continue to the final parts of our project and that is the footer. Now to make this, we can go to main, create a new file called footer.tsx and run our EFCE. I'll also paste in the import straight away as it's just a bunch of logos and let's actually install this package by running npm install react-icons. 
Once that is done, we can close the terminal, go over here, remove this, and style this div. We can say class name w full h full bg transparent text gray 200 shadow lg e 15 pixels. And that's it. Let's continue on to the next div. For this one, we can say div class name w full flex flex dash call items dash center justify dash center and m dash auto next we can create another div which will have a class name of w dash full and h dash full flex flex dash row items dash center justify dash around so justify dash around and flex dash wrap in here, we can create another div. This div can have a class name of min dash w dash 200 pixels, h dash auto, flex flex dash call, items dash center, and justify dash start. Inside of this div, we can have another div, which will say class name font dash bold and text uh, text dash 16 pixels and so we'll say community under here we can have another div which will have a class name of flex flex dash row items dash center modern y dash 15 pixels and a cursor of pointer in here we can first of all have a p tag or rather, we could actually make this itself a p tag. And first of all, say fa YouTube as a simple component. And add a span, which will say YouTube. This span will have a class name of text 15 pixels and a margin left of 6 pixels. We can copy this two more times. This will say GitHub. And this will say Discord. This will say Rx GitHub logo. And this will say Rx Discord logo. Now what we can do is we can copy this div two more times. This will say social media. And this will say about. Next, this can say Instagram. Twitter and LinkedIn and in here we can say become sponsor uh, then learning about me and finally we can add some email so we can say mythwebchain at gmail.com next we can actually remove all of the logos in the third one and continue. We can go when there's two divs left and say another div. This can have a class name of margin bottom dash 20 pixels, text dash 15 pixels, and text dash center. In here we can say add copy. Actually not add, this should be and to make a special symbol and say web chain dev. 2023 ink dot all rights reserved. Finally, what we can do is go to page.tsx or better even layout, go under children and add the footer. And if I'm correct, we are done. So now let's look at the complete website. Here we have the landing page with the nav bar and the logos. Now, if we scroll down, we get all of our available logos and skills. If we scroll down even more, we get this cool video background with encryption. And if we scroll down even more, we can see all of our projects. And finally, we can also see our footer. If we go at full screen mode, we can also see 
that this fully mobile responsive and that everything works on mobile. Now let's do the final part and deploy this project. To deploy this website, we can go to github.com, create new, new repository, and let's give this repository a name of space dash portfolio. And we can create this repository. Once it's created, we can copy this command and go into our terminal, into our project. We can run git init. Next, we can say git add dot. Next, we can say git commit dash m first commit. Next, we can branch this repository. We can add a remote origin. And finally, we can push everything to the repository. Once that's done, we can go to the repository. And as you can see, everything is here. Next, we can go to Vercel.com. We can reload this. And we can say add new project. You can connect to GitHub. Mine is already connected. And you can choose our space portfolio GitHub repository and click import. We can give this the project name of space portfolio and click deploy. And now it's deployed. You can click continue to dashboard and click visit. Let's see if this works. Yes. As you can see, we have this animation. We have the star background. I mean, it's deployed and there is zero lag. This animation also works perfectly. Also, the navbar is actually working, so we can scroll. And although with a slight delay, which is a little weird, we have all the images for the projects. And the footer is also there. So yeah, we have completely finished the website. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.